Hello everybody, we are back and we're going to jump right into the action here. So we're taking on UL Lafayette in Lafayette and of course we've had pretty good success against this team over the past few years so we're looking to have the same kind of success. And uh, it's the same backfield they've had. Terrence Broadway and Lon what was it, Lorenzo or Alonzo Harris, I can never remember his name. Harris is his last name, he's a pretty solid back, but anyway, they're going to find Savoy here, and these guys will be graduating a lot of their big offensive players that they've kind of uh, been developing over the past few years, and here Harris busts off a big run, and he's just not a speedy guy, so he can't really outrun a lot of people, but he gets the job done nonetheless, and these uh, Raging Cajuns, they're driving right down the field on our defense, and this has been a problem this season so far is our defense really hasn't been that impressive um, I mean they've made some big plays but uh, we did hold them to a field goal thankfully after that stop on third and goal so now we jump ahead to our next drive giving it off to none other than John Evans and on second and five we'll run a little jet sweep with the freshman Brandon Hunter and uh, we all know what kind of game he had against Texas State few weeks ago but then on third and inches we're stuffed their defense comes up big and we pin them back on their own three yard line so Broadway on the option is going to pitch it to Harris who's in the end zone Dowling can't quite bring Harris down Jonathan Dowling is just a little bit undersized especially compared to Harris and we almost get the sack there on Broadway but he somehow gets the ball out so now it's first and ten and Broadway on the option Another pitch, but Harris out of bounds after a three-yard loss. So now they're in a hole here, and Broadway almost gets sacked by Jermichael Payne, but instead throws a pick to Jonathan Dowling, who wants to run it in. He just gets stopped by the quarterback there. So now it's Western Kentucky ball, third and goal. We give it off to John Evans off to the left side. Easy touchdown run with lots of blockers just skating out to that outside run there so now we're up 7-3 here in the first quarter not too bad so far but our defense now giving up another big play this time to Figaro another staple of their offense the past couple of years and on second and inches Broadway goes long and he has Cam Thomas beat and that's just a disgusting coverage play there I don't know what Thomas was doing he just couldn't quite hang with the receiver and it was an easy pitch and catch and unfortunately the Hilltoppers would do nothing on their next drive so now we're back to this but a huge loss on that play our defense comes up big and now to start the second quarter second and 16 six yard loss and our defense would hold on third down and so now we go to Rico Brown on our next play and he is gone Rico Brown all the way to the house Touchdown for Western Kentucky, and we will take the lead. And look at this. Cash this check. It's a touchdown all the way. They blitzed their safeties, so they had nobody helping out over the top. And so now, late in the first half, Broadway running a little read option action here. And, man, he just busted off a nice 15-yard gain. No problem against the defense. He's going to... I don't even know, man. That was a ridiculous diving catch by Figaro. I couldn't even find any words to describe that, but Broadway now under pressure finds Butler in the flats, and we would hold them on third down, so halftime is 14-10. So things, you know, we're, we're starting to get a little bit of rhythm offensively, especially after that huge play from Rico Brown. And now in the second half, here we go. John Cruz on a little play action. And he's going to find Oliver Head for the first down. Nice gain of 10 yards. Line up in that weird Maryland eye formation, which I love so much. Cruz pitches that on the option, and Evans does have enough to get the first down. Another 10-yard play. We're just bumping the ball down the field little by little here. Tyler Higby on third down. Thought he had it. Thought he could use his height. And look at how the linebacker doesn't give up on this play. He swats it out of his hands. Nice little play there. So yes, we would stall on that drive and they totally burn us on the option. Committed to Broadway and he was able to find Harris. No problem on the, the pitch there. And this time Broadway scrambling up the middle. First down and they are just 
moving it once again, but this time they run a little option and we are not fooled. We've kind of honed in on how they're running this this offense, so we stop them there on third down. But now we have a little third down of our own. Third and four, we gotta get something going here, and Evans gets some help on the outside. Nicely done. A little bit of a a little bit of a quick gain there, and Cruz pressured out of the pocket, somehow finds Hunter, who stumbles his way to the first down. I don't know how that play developed that way, but now John Cruz busting out the option. He can get some humongous gains on those plays. So we'll bring in James Morrow just to give Cruz a little breather, and Evans on third down fights for those yards. Bring Cruz back in to start the fourth quarter. It's third and two. Cruz rolling out, he's going to find Hunter in the end zone. The freshman is having a fantastic season, adding yet another receiving touchdown to his totals on the air. He leads the team by far. So now it's 21-10, to 10 and we are all over the option on this play. That was a great stop there. So it's third and six for the Cajuns, and again, we bust up the option. They're just too predictable at this point. As you can see... Boom, right off the edge, or a cornerback making the play. It would be a three and out on our next drive, so they would get the ball right back and trying to move down the field to get a touchdown to get back in this game. And Jamichael Payne gets off his blocks <laughs> ridiculously fast. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but... Broadway now, third and 21, kind of ridiculous. He somehow finds Savoy. I don't know how he fit that ball in there. But fourth and four, they have to go for it. They don't really have a choice, and Harris is going to be there for the first down. Pretty clutch play by him. So second and ten, now time is not on their side, so they need to get going, and Broadway is sacked by none other than Nicholas Brown. Continues to be a sack master along with Jamichael Payne. Two very talented linemen that we have, and he found his receiver on the outside, but he would be out of bounds, so they would settle for the long 50-yard field goal to make it a one-possession game, 21-13. But we get the ball, of course, and on first down, Cruz is going to roll out and says, I'm just going to run, and he's going to get a humongous amount of yards on that scramble. He's having a good day running the ball. And with... 10 seconds, under 10 seconds to go. We'll kick a field goal to seal the deal. This one from 50 yards out as well. And that would be the final score, 24 to 13. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to tell you that be on the lookout for future videos of this series as I'm planning on adding some new elements of presentation to it and making a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say flashy in a way. I don't want to, I don't want to put it that way. That sounds, you know, but I'm, I'm adding some things to it that I think are going to make it more, more fun to watch. I think, you know, I'm not going to change my commentary or how I edit the video as far as the gameplay, but, um, when we're looking at stats and things like this, I'm thinking about, uh, adding a few new elements that'll make it a little bit prettier and everything will look all nice and slick um but it might not be for a few videos because i'm still kind of messing around with how i want to do this so just be aware you might not notice anything until maybe closer to the end of the season um in year four i'll probably really get in gear to actually putting a lot of a uh, a lot more cool things into the video so it's a little bit more interesting to watch than just the same old same old every video which I know I'm content to make that and I know some people are content to watch that but I also feel like changing it up a little bit too so it's always fun to mess around and do some different things um, but here you can see we did get a commitment in our recruiting two-star tackle nothing too special but we do need offensive linemen and sometimes you just got to go with those guys who aren't quite as highly rated but they can get the job done. And here's our Heisman watch. And uh, it's changed quite a bit. And four of the five guys are halfbacks. Ken Malcolm, the defending Heisman Trophy winner, I think. He won last year, right? I think. <laughs> anyway, he's uh, moved down to the bottom since we've last seen him. But still up there. 
And uh, here's the NCAA Players of the Week. David Piland, Piland, 402 yards, 5 touchdowns. Pretty good day for him. And here's our Sunbelt Players of the Week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all around next time when we take on Vanderbilt.